Come on up, Carrie. I always give you a hug and kiss. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm better than good, better than most, and sometimes even better than that. I'm going to get a little closer to that. All right. I'd like to ask you, do you think about your making a decision to use your voice? What is it, as you look back on your life, that has motivated you to create the person that you are right now? Wow. Do you really want the answer? Yes. It changes as of the last 36 days. So I talk a lot and I listen to you a lot. And I've learned to be as transparent as I can be in my life. It wasn't really something that I've, it's something that I just always was, but then I want to have my story and I want to develop my story and listening to you and learning. I was trying to find my story and 37 days ago, I went through a transparent moment, and I'm going to be transparent with you. I was assaulted at an event, and um, being transparent is something that I was always meant to be, but I thought that I was to inspire and lift people. And I've always struggled with how could I use my voice to impact people as you share, to be impactful instead of always just being contagious living and explaining to people how to be happy and um, just what the nature of me was. And um, I've been told in the last 37 days by lots of influencers how to handle this and how to be um, the right version of a victim or being victorious. And I realized yesterday when you were sharing with us that my mission to impact other people, not just women, is humans that have been assaulted and had their power taken away from them, is I've always been the cat that lands on my feet. And this time I'm landing on my feet for myself. And as I'm doing this for myself, there's been so many people that are seeing and reaching out and coming to me and saying, you're breaking all the rules. You're not supposed to talk about this. You're not the face of somebody who's been raped, which is the first time I've said that word right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Yes. But in being able to say that and paint the picture of what it really was for people is that we understand that it really doesn't have a picture. There isn't a face. It's not just women. There's been men that have come forward to me. There have been eight women that have come to me and shared with me how this affected their lives. And when I get their messages, less they are like the stories that you've been teaching us to share of our hearts. I'm getting these. I shared with Christine yesterday. I get these messages from women that are as if it was yesterday. Every color, every vibration, I can feel their hurt. I can smell the smell of the room they were in when this happened to them. And so being surrounded in a safe place, like you keep saying, a smaller, more intimate setting. Yes. And yesterday you shared being called and let up. Five days after my rape, I was in Calgary, Canada. I was supposed to speak. And I asked permission to just be in the audience. And that day somebody came out and stood in front of me and my legs were coming out on the stage ahead of me. And I was saying, no, 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 this isn't who I am. This is not going to be who I am. But God gives you things for you because he knows you can handle them. And that day I got up on stage and for once in my entire life, even after being with you in LA, I realized I'm more than just this and I don't have to show up for anybody expecting me to be a certain something. And I got up on that stage and I didn't worry about everybody in the audience. I shared what happened and it's my, my lead generation has gone from a hundred and something to over 5,000 email list because people resonate with me. And in some weird way, they're so happy to see that I'm not letting this beat me. Yeah, but tell me three things as you think right now. There's some growth that came about as a result of that. Mm -hmm. You have made a decision that that's not going to define you. What are three qualities about you that you embrace that has allowed you to move forward into the future? What's number one? Transparency. Transparency, number two. I've always been contagious with humans to communicate. Communication, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. three? Honesty. Gotcha. 
honesty and being Give real. me another one, because transparency is close to honesty. Courage. Thank you. And not worrying about what everybody thinks. And, and it's not my business how you receive it. It's just that I have to share it. Yes. So when I was, but Tyler knows share, I wasn't coming today. not sharing it for the purpose of sharing it, but sharing it and giving people the tools that you've used to allow yourself to rise above that. Absolutely. You know, Elsie Robinson said, things may happen to you and things may happen around you. But the most important things are the things that happen in you and you control that in you a bad mama jamma thank you <laughs> thank you and i wasn't coming today yeah. 15 minutes to nine and tyler says okay beautiful are you ready to go and i had old yucky makeup on i said i can make this happen yes so i'm here and thank you thank you for creating thank this you. space and thank you all for giving me your trust thank you so much appreciate you yes <laughs> oh excellent thank you Thank you.